Introduction to Induction One of the simplest patterns in math is the sum of integers. Start with 1, the next step is to add 1 plus 2, and then 1 plus 2 plus 3, and this pattern can continue forever. Basically, we're talking about a series where we keep adding up to a certain number, and this number is represented by the letter n. There are different series where the nth term is different. The nth term is important because it tells the value of the term depending on its position. Calculating the total sum of a series to the nth term can become very tedious if n is a large number. But many series have a formula that calculates the total sum. The formula for the sum of first n integers is n times n plus 1 divided by 2. Let's calculate the sequence again, this time using the formula. We have verified that the answers are correct up to n equals 4, but in order to prove this works for all terms, we need to prove it by mathematical induction. Let's say we continued calculating to some random number k. Since we don't know the exact number, we just leave it as k times k plus 1 divided by 2. Let's take a look back at the three different series. Observe that as we progress to each subsequent term, 1 is added not to the overall term, but to the term number. The last term in the series includes k, but if we wanted to extend the series, the next term needs to have k plus 1. We now have the groundwork to prove that the sum of integers is equal to n times n plus 1 divided by 2. We have already demonstrated that the statement is true for the first term where n equals 1. This is known as the base case. Next is the induction step. Assume the formula is true for some integer k. This means we assume that the sum of the first k integers is k times k plus 1 divided by 2. Then if we include the next term, k plus 1, we need to show that the right-hand side of the equation also has the form n times n plus 1 divided by 2. First, we'll make the last term have a denominator of 2. Let's group both terms together. In this final step, we arrange it so that it has the same form as the formula n times n plus 1 divided by 2. This shows that if the formula works for an arbitrary number k, it also works for the next number, k plus 1. By the principle of mathematical induction, the formula is therefore true for all natural numbers n.